What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. So, uh, you know, while you was in there, like, how was your experience? Like, did you have to get any fights, shit like that? Or... Yeah, I got just I got into what two fights. I I ain't really the, I be humble. I, don't, I ain't really the type to talk too much. If I if I gotta punch you, it's for a real good reason. You see what I'm saying? I ain't I don't be on that hot ass shit. Motherfucker got the tweaking. Uh, I'm laying down trying to sleep, and you know in the county you got it's one day room. You see everybody in their cells, but you 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 can talk through your chuckle. Uh -uh. And when you talk through the chuckle, it's a loud ass echo. You see what I'm saying? So some dude, he and his Chuck coach, that he, uh, forgot what he was saying. He was saying, I want to go home. I want to go home. That's <laughs> as funny as hell. For a little minute, it was funny, but the nigga doing this shit all night, like I couldn't even sleep. I had to come to the Chuck. I'm, boy, shut your ass up. Now he, fine, he, who you talk? Man, we can, we can box in the morning. I'm getting that, yeah. All right, say so that. Motherfucker gonna holler at you when these doves pop. That's how that went about. Some of those pop. He also, I really could have, they popped out the dog, could, really could just ran to his room. He and that still sleep. Yeah. I knock on this shit politely. I don't wake up. Come on, <laughs> put your shoes on. You know what I'm saying? That's all the way. I ain't gonna beat you while you sleep or nothing. I just gonna have a little like me and shit. Yeah, I did it though. I uh, pick his ass up, uh, put him on his head. Yeah. <laughs> It was one of those, no line, I ain't even lying on bro. I fucked him up. So how was that situation, uh, how it go? Like, what division he was in? That was Division 6. Oh, yeah. A minute ago, school wing. But they had older motherfuckers on there. It wasn't all young motherfuckers. It was some older motherfuckers, too. Yeah, I heard that's one of the uh, wings that, like, it be busting a lot as far as on the fighting side. It's a lot of high school yeah, yeah. kids, shit like that. It, they fight, but... It's really goofy shit. Like we go to school, you see know what I'm saying? They somebody steal a fucking pencil. Now we got a, the whole fucking deck on lockdown for a pencil yeah. until the pencil come up. Nine times out of ten, the motherfucker who took the pencil gonna get got to go to the hole for the goofy shit. So they ain't gonna say nothing. So we on hold for then the ten days for a pencil. Yeah, that's how I jail. That's why I ain't going back to that shit. Oh, yeah, jail for me. That shit definitely goofy. You know, for the fans and shit, they don't got no idea, you know, what Chicago is like, or like being in the streets, like, what would you tell them? Shit, Chicago. Chicago ain't, it's, it's a beautiful city, shit, if you really want to know from, y'all from the outside looking in, this shit ain't like what y'all think it is, like, they just kill, they, they kill, it's a lot of killing, but you just gotta move, it's how you move out here, man, this shit, this shit, you can really make life fun in Chicago, it's all, what you choose to make your shit, like, for real. Mm. Go downtown or something, you know, it's beautiful downtown. Go down that shit, I go down there, I like down there. Shit, that's why I be at, I don't, these hood, this hood shit ain't about nothing. Mm. I done seen it all, done it all, seen fake shit, snake shit, fool shit, all these, I mean, this shit ain't about nothing. Yeah. It's, it's down at like jail, like you, you mind your business, stick to yourself, you be good for the most part. Like yeah. every now and then somebody have to innocent motherfucker, but that's just, that's life, that's anywhere. But and nine out of 10, that shit be happening cause motherfuckers be putting themselves in them situations, you see what I'm saying? And yeah. Even, it's, some innocent, it's a lot of innocent people that died though, you know what I'm saying? But shit, you just gotta know how to move out here. Yeah. But Chicago a great place, shit, to me. But I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't mind getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, I, want, I just want, it's not because it's just so crazy, but it's, shit, I want to see, you know, different shit. It's 50 states out there, shit. Other <clears> countries <throat> and shit, I want to do something. Hell yeah, it's way more out here. Then you get that peace of mind, especially when you, you ain't really on no goofy shit and you trying to be better. Like, this ain't no spot to just do that and think just because right. you on that, the people that's from the other side going to be like, oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like nine times out of ten, all these rappers that be rapping, they go through the same little shit as far as with the streets. 
Like this shit real. It's always them homies that just don't give a fuck about what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to rap, none of that. They don't believe in you. Niggas don't give a fuck nowadays. These rappers, like, you could real life be, like, my son doing doing nothing. It's doing nothing. I, I'm damn, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker probably is finna, you know what I'm saying? Su succeed in what I'm trying to, you know, do. Niggas don't care. These niggas will, these niggas will still be like, bro, what's up? Let's go on. Let's go slide. Yeah. Let's go slide on them, nigga. Let's go. And you tell a nigga, and this what it is with these hoods. It's no people that give advice from the near hood. Nobody give each other advice. Nobody. Yeah. It's just a click full of yes, man. Everybody, yeah. yes. Let's go. Let's go do this. Let's go. It's nobody be like, no, nah, bro. Don't. You know what I'm saying? If you do, if you that type of nigga and you do that, they look at you like you a bitch. Yeah. He, oh, he a goof ass nigga. He ain't. You know what I'm saying? And that's the main thing in Chicago. It's no. No man, you see what I'm saying? There's no people to give you advice. That's what we need more of out here, shit. Some real shit. And I feel like a lot of niggas, they don't think. They just do shit, you know. They ain't looking at the bigger picture. Then a lot of niggas, I don't know, they be scared to speak up. Like, they, they, they scared to look a certain way. Like, me, I don't get no fuck. Like, I'm the nigga from my hood. I do what I want to do. Like, mm -hmm. it's like... That's how you, see, that's how I, I, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, I speak up, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bite my tongue for shit, you see what I'm saying, but, yeah, a lot of people just be, weak minded, weak minded, they be scared to, they be thinking, they be too worried about how they gonna look saying this, or how they gonna look doing this, that's why, it's to a point, I can't even do normal shit, like, with my, like, with, with, with my people, like, my homie, you know, it's so fucked up, like, and I done been doing different shit, and you know what I'm saying, and seeing how this shit is. But I done took a couple of my homies out, we be out, they be, man, for we gotta go, for There's too many people in, folk. <laughs> oh, we don't you know, hell, no. I'm, it's like, this shit got motherfuckers real life. It's, it's, it's a hard situation, it's like a hard situation, because you don't want to cut niggas off, but niggas ain't really, might not be on what you want. Like, they ain't, motherfuckers not. You know what I'm saying, but. It been like that. I've been always to myself and fucking with only a selected few. Like I don't be this shit. You can't you can't fuck with too many people. Shit, that's how you end up in jail or dead. This shit real. Uh, yeah. you gotta keep your circle small as possible. Hey, I be going through the same shit. Like basically, like with me doing what I'm doing, I'm trying to you know be on the positive note. But like I'm still from where I'm from. A lot of my homies, we'll be out. They be on hot shit. Oh, we finna, we finna go poking. We finna go. And I'm bro, like, I can't be doing that shit no more, you know. And it's like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like niggas that don't understand that eventually you are gonna have to cut them off. It's just it be hard because it's like these your niggas, you know. But mm -hmm. like, how would you handle a situation like that? Like, like what? Like as far as somebody trying to basically pay you to do some shit? Basically, like they keep they keep you in hot situations, like. I didn't make situations, love for you see what I'm saying? I'm the type to speak up. You see? So a lot of niggas, that's how niggas get get in jams and shit, cause niggas don't speak up. Nine times out of ten, niggas don't even be wanting to go do shit. Niggas be niggas don't be wanting to do certain shit. It'd be a tough ass nigga that's just amping it up and, make, <laughs> and they end up doing this shit for this person. You see what I'm saying? Cause just to prove point to this person. But I'm t I'll speak up. I, if I feel this situation it ain't right, I ain't, uh, I'm going my first man. I'm letting my fucking know. Nah, I'm good. Y'all can go on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but shit, I ain't, I ain't even with my man that anyway. I ain't on none of that shit in my life. I'm trying to get some money. That's what's up. That's the way to be. That's the way you make it out this shit. I'll be smart. But you know, back to the uh, music shit. Like when you first start rapping. I've been rapping since. Um, I've been rapping. I ain't gonna lie, I'm damn near my whole life singing. I sing too. I ain't gonna lie, I be doing R and B too. Yeah. Got a lot of shit. I got. I definitely got an album. I got an album for the ladies too. On my life, I do. It's just timing with that shit, you know, yeah. with what I'm trying to pursue right now. But yeah, I've been on rapping since. Goddamn it, twenty. Well, I started taking it serious. You see, when I got out of jail. When I came home, you know I was locked up for a while. That was my time to, 
you know what I'm saying, got in my, got in my mind together, and I was writing a lot of songs and shit. So when I came home, it was that. My little brother, Scribe, may he rest in peace, he introduced me to um, Ewell, his name Ewell, he an engineer, he engineer. He rapped too, y'all, he an artist too. He with JH, he, he, with, he with me, he with uh, um, yeah, he introduced me to him, and so, at first, I ain't, he had to stew in the crib, you know what I'm saying, in, in the closet, that's how we started, it was like, first I ain't believe it, and you see what I'm saying, that's how it always started, but, it was something about Ewell when he got to make, playing with that shit, even though we ain't had too much of nothing back then, but, just to not go to school for that shit, and learn, and know how to, you know what I'm saying, work this shit, I just knew that was a gift right there, like, this shit all put in front of me for a reason, like, that's when I started taking it serious, like 2011 and, and rapping. But this shit finally just, you know, opened up like this year, shit. That's, I guess it do take time, shit. So, you know, when you first started, was you naturally good? Like, or you had to grow into the so artist? When movie? I first started, I ain't gonna lie, I was looking up to, to Lil Wayne. You know, everybody was Lil Wayne here. Yeah. I used to be rapping like Lil Wayne and shit, <laughs> saying Lil Wayne. I always had them Lil Wayne ass bars too. I always had bars. I always had this shit. But, shit, yeah. But yeah, I don't um, But yeah, I feel like, yeah, I'm definitely, I always had this shit though, I ain't gonna lie. It's just, I'm real advanced right now, like, I done mastered this shit, music. So you could, uh, you remember your first song you made? Shit, my first song. My first song ever recorded was Settle Down, wasn't it? Well, I think it was Settle Down. Hell no, nah, it was Settle Down, boy. Which one of those? No, matter of fact, it was that weak ass song that all my niggas with it, they about that life. Oh, that shit, we can say that. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> so that that was my first song ever recorded, but then I, I did that R&B song with me and Dooski. We got a nice little feedback off that shit back for back then. Yeah. That's when I really started taking my engineer series and we started just bonding from there. Been that ever since. That's the only person I go to yeah. to record. So uh is that song something that's out like people could find it right now? If they was to look for it? No, nah, I took I been took that shit off YouTube. <laughs> that shit was so weak. I'm like, take that shit down. <laughs> I don't even gonna find that my phone. I don't even know why I just rapped that little bit. <laughs> that shit is whack. Yeah. So you know, for the first few songs, uh, you know, you said they didn't take off as much. So like, what was the reaction like when you dropped it? Like, what type of views you was getting? Back then. Yeah. To be honest, that shit wasn't getting no. <laughs> that shit wasn't doing nothing back then. It wasn't the music wasn't moving. You see what I'm saying? And I always had that the mindset to, to do it in. But, like I say, back then I was kind of one foot in, one foot out, so I wasn't really, like I always had songs put up, you see what I'm saying? But I'd be so caught up in, in life itself, doing shit, and, and, and I, I, this shit really take money, to be honest. Like, and back yeah. then, what if I ain't had the funds? I ain't had the money to, to push this and push that. I was just putting little shit on YouTube, hoping it'll do this amount, you know what I'm saying? to do a thousand views at the most back then. But as I, it was really Independence Day, I ain't gonna lie, when I dropped Independence Day, that's when I realized that, oh, I could make it. This shit real. I could do this shit. Yeah, that's what it is. And I, I, I do everything, I do, I do motherfucking, I rap, I sing, I do R&B, I do reggae music, shit, I do, um. I kind of, I, I'm gonna tap into pop a little bit with the music I got. I'm telling you, I got songs you wouldn't even think it was me on the song. Like, real talk, some real shit. I was thinking about getting to the songwriting thing. So what made you so versatile? Like, was it the music you listened to growing up? Or? Yeah, that's what it was. I'm not growing up. It, it's really just singing all the time and, and listening to music. I remember um, this was like '05 Christmas. I remember I told my OG to give me that. That um, that Lil Wayne album and the Trey Song album when that motherfucker Trey Song's album when it came out <laughs> on my life, that's what made me rap and sing right there. I heard the Trey Song's, I was singing that shit, 
I was just, I, I, I always had a little, you know, little vocals on me, shit I could sing. And then I was rapping too, shit. So that's what really made me versatile, just listening to them two different types and having, you know, and having a soft side too, you know, just cause you can't just do R&B without having a soft side shit. I got a soft side, yeah, nigga got a little soft side. That's how I live for the, but, yeah. So I know you said uh, Independence Day was like, that was one of the first songs that you said, you felt like, all right, I could do this. What was the reaction for that? Like as far as views and shit like that? Yeah, it did, it did a nice little number, shit. Right now, it's at what, 100 some thousand. But that just, it did, just to, just to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it let me know, like, and the reaction that people was giving me, like, they, man, that shit is bars, boy, that shit, like, them real bars, I ain't gonna lie, like, that's one thing about me. I, I spit when I rap. I'm spitting that real shit. I'm spitting that real street shit. Like only thing I could say I could work on it a little bit. I listen to my music a lot. I gotta slow down on the 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 the, the drill bars. You see what I'm saying? Cause it be like bar after bar. Like I'd be like shoot, smoke him in his homie. You know? Then I say it right again. Catch him while he in his homie. And I really think about it. Shit is repetitive. What I'm saying, like in a way, sometimes that's how it be. But shit, that's what they like. They love this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I got songs where I'm really talking about shit. You see what I'm saying? And really talking about situations and talking about like. Yeah, that shit that people going through, different shit, relationship shit, and, and shit for the females, some 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 shit, some party shit. I don't know, I got all that shit, bro. It's just with this music shit, it's just timing. You know what I'm saying? I think you down there got to escape Chicago to push shit like that out, cause mm -hmm. I mean, well, I peeped that, I peeped that with the fans. Like I did an interview with uh, Lil Zay Osama, and if you know about him, he down there, out of here type shit. Like he, yeah, he I'm down there on this way. Him, I fuck with his music too. This shit be going uh, crazy. But if you look at the interview, it ain't do much. But that's because he ain't really talk about no street shit. So it's like, I, I could get a nigga on here that ain't a rapper, never dropped a song. As long as he got a name in the streets, that shit go up. It's like, I don't know, that shit kind of weird. Like, that's all they want to see. Yeah, it's like, sometimes it is. Like, it's been time I done dropped and played with, like, I'll post a little R&B song to see what it's going to do. They, It's like, they like it, but it's so much, like, the way Chicago is, that ain't what they want to hear right now. I, to be honest, that's why I've been making so much of this, you know what I'm saying? This just this, this gangster type shit. Cause they love that shit. Like, they real like <laughs> love. I had somebody, I had somebody inbox me talking about the song members. He say, this shit make me want to slap the shit out of my baby mama. I'm like, damn. I'm damn. I'm like, the baby mama, man, I'm gonna go slap her now. But then I just think of that, that shit is crazy though. Know, this this music shit is crazy. Uh, I, you know, I think it is. I think it'd be like that because a lot of the fans, they don't be from that walk of life. So that'd be the closest thing they get to it. Because I remember when the fans inbox me, they like, you know what the best thing about drill music is? I'm like, nah, what? They like, when they all die at the end. I'm what the fuck? But it's like, that's what they looking that's for. Deep. Shit, I ain't, I ain't. Yeah. Over here. I ain't going yeah. no time soon. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, they 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 be on the outside just looking in. They don't even know the real life motherfuckers is really living. You see, what I mean? yeah. nine times out of ten, they just they they some probably somebody not you know be on a racist shit. Probably a white person sitting in the crib, never been to the hood a day in his life, got the best life. You know what I'm saying? And, and be talking down on this shit like this shit just a game. It's like a movie shit, to him. real. And when I rap, I mean, I, mean, I got to say this, because people just think when you rap, you, you um, like, the, like the shit I talk about, like I'm just influencing people to do this shit. Nah, hell no. Nah. This shit ain't to, for you to, you know what I'm saying? To, to take to go do this shit. This, I'm basically telling you this shit, because you should really look at this shit like that shit is sad to just hear all this shit. They going through and I don't even want to go through that. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why I do it like that. You see what I'm saying? If you listen to this one song me and Dooski got, it's called I'm Ready. We did it on uh, a little remake, a remix to that beat, that I'm Ready beat to with the killer, the um dip, diplomat beat. You know that I'm ready, that beat. 
I spoke the realest shit in that song. I think that's about the realest shit I ever said in my life. That's my testimony right there, for real. And if you listen to that song, that shit will teach you a lot about the streets. That's the that's the that's what I be trying to do. I'ma tap into all that type of shit too. I got all that type of music. Well, I got this shit mapped out. I ain't gonna lie, this shit. I got over a hundred songs. You see what I'm saying? Just it's just time, you know. So that song you were singing on that? What? The uh, I'm ready. No, we was rapping. Uh. That's that's our rap. But that shit make you feel it though. It's real. When you hear that shit, you, you, it just make you look at the streets different. Yeah. So, you know, just speaking on you singing and shit, you don't got some shit you could let people hear that's that's interested in knowing, like, how you come on the singing side? On the singing side? Yeah. <laughs> shit. I don't, I don't know if I want to get into some singing shit. <laughs> oh, shit, you got some bars or something, motherfucker? Yeah. i spit a little something. Yeah, let me see. I say, we went to war with the killers. I got a 50 round drum, but I go to war with you niggas. I got some niggas that when I stop killing until they up at least four on you niggas. Run up on him, put the torch on a nigga. You should have jumped off the porch, little nigga. Got shooters on and off the court, little nigga. I know this really ain't your sport, little nigga. So you better stay in the house. Matter of fact, it ain't safe because we spray in the house. We come through staking it out. Kick the door and let it blaze at your scalp. It took patience. We just waited it out. Caught him at the trash. He was taking it out. Got on his ass when that nickel blast, nigga. I guarantee you ain't making it out. It give me chills when I shoot it. I pop a midnight and boot it. I feel like my life is a movie. I clutch on my heat when I ride with the tootie. Boy, you think it's sweet. Lose your life to a Uzi. Can't no nigga tell you that I am a goofy. I don't give a fuck. Live my life like I'm Stewie. Hey. Come through his hood when it's pitch black. I saw a nigga run with his bitch ass. He got his shit spit like a Kit Kat. Found out a nigga wasn't even with that. That's a fucked up predicament to be in. That's what happened when you swimming on the deep end. That's what happened when a bitch nigga pretend. I be giving out smoke like the weed man. Pop the trunk, ride a pump. It look like the ops with them. Pop at them. They gonna need the cops with them. A dock with them. A mop with them. The mop up them. Hey. <laughs> hey, let me stop playing, though. I'm just talking shit. That's, that's just some gangster shit. Crazy. I be fucking around, man. This ain't no diss to nobody else that been on here, but so far, out of everybody that freestyled, yo shit, you know, it's the best. I mean, I'm that. <laughs> hey, that's how I be, shit. All right, with my interviews, I'm starting to, you know, get a fan's chance to ask questions they want to know about, you know, they favorite artists, shit like that. So I put a post on Instagram, asked them what they want to ask you, and they basically was asking, like, uh, they asked about an artist named Lil Mo. I asked, like, is he dropping any music and shit like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Little more. That's, that's my, that's my, that's my little homie. I look at him like my son. That's why I call him. I be son. But yeah, he 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 an artist. He he one of J H E artists. He um, he got some shit coming too called Six Blocker. That shit hot. Like I ain't gonna lie, it's the hottest shit. Like, but I be trying to tell Little more like you got. He so you know what I'm saying. He one of those. He young. Little more. You won't even believe Little more. Fourteen years old. Yeah. Young as fuck. Like real life, but I be trying to tell him, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guide him the right way, because the direction he be going, you know? Just keep his mind focused, because these niggas ain't, I don't give a fuck about them. That's all I be trying to put in his head and let him realize these niggas don't care. All they, all they care about is putting a gun in your hand, making you feel tough and, and brave and shit. Uh, I'm trying to show Shorty something different, you know? Mm -hmm. I just want. That's what, that's what I always aim for the shorties. I don't talk to no grown ass men. You can ask any one of the shorties from my hood, they'll tell you. Ruga ain't told me shit. Nothing but, but good shit. He always told me what was right. I never misguide these shorties because at the end of the day, they ain't shit but us. You see what I'm saying? That's us. That's our future. That's the future, these shorties. You see what I'm saying? So that's how we gonna control this motherfucking world in, in Chicago. These shorties. So what's up? So uh, you know, is there any other other artists that you uh, probably want to mention or some shit like that? That that's, that oh, you? Yeah, yeah. Shit, I fuck with uh, my homie Weezy, Weezy Valley. You can look his shit up. He folks spit real street shit. That's my homie, uh, bro. My homie Trello, Trello rap with Weezy. They all they together. They got videos and shit together. I be listening to that shit to they shit. Damn, shit. Who else I be listening to, shit? Mm. 
Ewell, Lil Mo. Who? Who? I don't be listening to that shit. I ain't gonna no notice in the interview though. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, well, he stick to the name people. Nah, taking it that way. But nah, I fuck with four now. Shit, I don't really listen to too many rappers though. I ain't gonna lie. I try to get, get certain people a chance though, as far as new people like that I never heard. That's what I be doing. I listen to a lot of people that I ain't never heard. I see your shit, it might have three, four, five thousand views. I still click on it. So I ain't the type to go for the big song that's out, you know? Yeah. That's all. It'd be the same with me. People don't even like riding in the car with me. Like, what the fuck is this? That shit be going crazy, but they don't be knowing it. But, yeah, so you know, what's uh what's next for you? Any videos or songs we can expect to see real soon? Oh yeah, I got a um, song, a single from the drop, Hey More, it's called Hey More. Shit, that shit hot. I ain't gonna lie. That's about what I can say about it. It's hot. It's gonna come with a video too. I'm shooting a video to that. Yeah. And I got mixtape from the drop too. I ain't really put it, you know what I'm saying, as far as I thought about the name of it. But it's coming. It's there. It's really already there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just time and what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah. Be looking for that single though. Hey, more. It'll be coming. It's kind of real soon. I just recently posted on my Instagram. Just to warm them up, you know? Yeah. Getting them ready. Shit, my, one of my last questions uh, that I was going to have for you was going to be like, what's something that, uh, you know, that would surprise people about you? But I think you you done it. Told us that already, you know, the singing, unless you got something else in mind. That would surprise people? Other than, other than music, you want to say? Shit. Sure. It's just me as a person, like, it surprised me. Like, you would listen to my music and be, oh, he just a badass person the way you hear him, but now, nah, I'm, 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 I'm really a funny ass person. I can make a motherfucker laugh all day. I don't give a fuck. I joke, I joke, I laugh. I'm a cool ass person. I ain't, no, I'm normal. That's one thing that surprised people to me. Like, people just be expecting people to be all celebrity ish and shit, and when they see them, no. I'm a street nigga. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Folks know great. Oh, yeah, I have Shut one. Fuck up. I have one more question. Like, uh, what J H E stand for? Oh, uh, Jet High Entertainment, which is J H E stand Jet High Entertainment stand for just enjoy the high. You know what I'm saying? So it's something my own engineer came up with. He the he the founder of everything. Him and um, his cousin, my, which is my homie, his name Devo. They both came up with the label, and we just took it and ran with it, you know. And we 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 push it from here. All right, cool. So you know, before we close out, is there anything else you wanna uh, say? Any social media you wanna put out there? Shout outs to anybody. Shit. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. You know, shout out phone now. Let me stop playing. <laughs> shit, shout out shit. A couple of motherfuckers, man. Shout out my mama. I love her. That's my OG. But nah, don't let me stop playing. Shit. Y'all know what's going on, man. Just know, 2019, motherfuckers gonna know on bro. Motherfuckers finna know this year. It's coming. All right, cool. Where about to find you at on uh, Instagram, shit like yeah, that? you can find me on Instagram, J-H-E underscore Ruga. And on Snap, you can find me on that motherfucker. Twitter, real underscore Ruga. Shit, I got a little Facebook, too. I be, I don't really be on that shit, though. That shit weak. But, yeah. You can find me on them. Shit, I got all, but, but that hate more, that shit gonna be on all platforms. Just be ready. All platforms. All right, cool. Shit, let people know who came out to do the interview with you. Oh, yeah, I got my boy 16. 16 shots. He ain't fucking around. He getting here anytime. Like, he, it was all love. It wasn't no, you know, no funny vibes, none of that shit. Real nigga. Came out and, you know, showed a nigga love. That's 100. All right, bad love, bro. Keep going crazy with this shit.
Alright, so look, the reason I started this YouTube channel was to reach out to big artists in my area that got somewhat of a name, a following, fan base, you know, just people paying attention to them. That way I could build up my platform and I could reach out to smaller artists who I feel like got potential, you know, could make it somewhere if they just have the right people looking at them or the right person helping them, somebody paying attention to them. Because there's a lot of artists that got talent, but nobody paying attention, so the talent go unnoticed. So what I'm doing basically is looking out for them, giving back. Just the same way these artists looking out for me, because I started just without no name, didn't nobody know who I was. They just agreed to do this off the strength, you know, for free, not charging me nothing. So for the artists that's looking out for me, I feel like it's only right that I give back to the other people. Because I used to rap, I used to be a rap artist. And I had talent, but what am I paying attention? So I'm trying to create a platform to put everybody on who I feel like deserves that shot. So if you want to support the movement, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it by either pointing me in the direction of somebody that you feel like got potential and should be on this platform, send a donation, purchase some clothes, like, subscribe, and share my videos, putting somebody else onto the videos. It's the simple things. All the comments, I read all that. So. Whatever you, however you choose to support, it's all appreciated. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to follow me on my social media, it's 16 Shot on Visuals on Instagram. Email booking Raheem16 at gmail.com. That's the best way to get up with me.